battle continues and civil war hits Sudan. Dead bodies on streets leave the world in pain. Forces announced a 72-hour ceasefire. A truce ahead of Eid in the Islamic nation. Residents still report gunfire. Will Sudan get back to normal? Can the world afford another war? Sudan's paramilitary forces have agreed to a 72-hour ceasefire for Eid. The truce on humanitarian grounds has begun in the early hours of April 21. The truce coincides with Eid to open humanitarian corridors to evacuate citizens and give them the opportunity to greet their families. However, there is no confirmation from the Sudan army over a ceasefire on Eid. Khartoum, the capital city of the Islamic nation and a few other cities, still heard gunfire on April 21 during the morning Eid prayers. Fighting between the two forces of Sudan erupted last week after the country's military and paramilitary forces failed to come to a conclusion on civilian democracy after four years. The civil war has put Sudan residents in an extremely tense situation. People living in cities, especially in the capital Khartoum, are struggling to access daily necessities. Water and electricity have also been cut off in many areas of Sudan. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to Mirror Now.